have absolutely no information about the electric fl plug. We'll have to figure out whether it was there or not. Uh, we are going through the airplane. We know that the battery died and nothing else was available. Where, where the electric plugs are available, only in business. And the computer stayed down. The person couldn't work. Therefore, the person is not flying business. Um, it's a very rough estimation because uh, in some planes, coach also has uh, the electric plugs and some business doesn't. So it's to give you um, some idea. Of course, you would have to double check that. But, but it's enough for a flag, if that is what you are trying to figure out. Um, look at the other sentence. I need to replace my battery. It died one quarter of the way to LA last week. Exactly the same information. Good that I didn't check in the power cord. Uh-huh. So that power cord was plugged in somewhere on the airplane. What does it tell us? Probably business class, yeah. Uh, so, uh, we deliberately took non-simple sentences, situations when we have to dive deep into the ontology to figure out how one property leads to uh, uh, another. We actually gave you uh, a glimpse of another much more complicated and not fully implemented uh, component of the system, which is sometimes referred to as the inference engine. It's reasoning. That is, the system allows you to reason uh, like a human or a little better. That is, uh, not allowing for human uh, error or fatigue or uh, lapse of attention. So that's what, that's, that's what we uh, um, uh, uh, have done um, uh, so far, and we wanted to tell you um, uh, about it. One of the... Uh, reviewers of the uh, paper was really scared. He's one of the gurus of information security, and he said, what are you doing, guys? It's brilliant. It works. I'm already living in a police state, and uh, this way we will all be supervised 24 hours uh, a day. Well, I told him, uh, Steve, I grew up in a police state. And believe you me, you are not living in a police state. And so you are living in a state where a warrant can be obtained for a personal search of you and where you live. We are not going anywhere beyond that. Questions? Thank you for your Thank attention. You. Uh, the question that I have is in regard to you know, the case where you said there, there could be a traitor and you try to flag him using these kind of things. Um, but isn't there a requirement that the audience must be default aware whenever you try to flag any of these situations. Because let's say you know, the person whom he's talking to is someone from a, a family member or something. In that case, usually they have a tendency to communicate all kinds of things. And, you know, anything is not all of we, we are not showing you a, another um, part of it, and that was in the first paper. And that's when you take the the audience into account. So sometimes you have to state the obvious to you just to adapt to the audience knowledge. Um, that's not taken into account here. We are only uh, interested in the very simplest case. Okay? Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, Im imagine you are a door-to-door -door salesman. I'm not even sure they exist anymore. And you uh, come back home and uh, your wife asks you, uh, how did you do? And you say, as usual. And she knows how uh, usual you may be an incredible uh, person, it's 100%, uh, or it may be you never sell uh, in anything. Yes? Yeah, I have a question about the, the TMRs that you have suggested. Mm -hmm. So, uh, was it designed for each and every kind of sentences by looking through the formation of sentences, or um, what went behind? The, the TMRs are done automatically. The computer is creating them. So it is looking at the sentence. It goes through the lexicon. It looks at the words. It goes through the ontology, maps them to the ontology, the information that's there. Um, and then it's just simple logic. What works according to the ontology and what doesn't. The interpretations that don't work according to the ontology are discarded. Those that are okay according to our knowledge of, of, our knowledge of the world are okay. That's not done just for this example. That's a software that's um, in a, a production level software. So any text would um, go through the, um, the analyzer um, exactly the same way. 
at, at this point of implementation, it uh, uh, does well with most sentences without an enormous, enormously complicated uh, syntax. Uh, and uh, the main formula for you, just to get a quick grasp of it, it's all event-oriented. We identify the word which is an event, like go in the simple example. And we look uh, up in the ontology what properties it has, what should it be filled with, and then try to match the rest of the material in the sentence into that uh, event. It works extremely well, uh, surprisingly frequently, and then we work on the complications. Um, it's according to the speaker. There is such a thing that will tell you the speaker thinks that it is good. So it's the speaker's evaluation of the event. Uh, we are also, uh, something we failed to mention is that uh, we are uh, working to apply uh, the system to a much wider range of applications. Where it will work very well is uh, if uh, the statements produced by the suspect uh, uh, or um, observations about his or her behavior can be compared against the uh, written expectations. You know, sometimes uh, uh, websites have written policies. All uh, institutions uh, uh, where security clearance, for instance, uh, is uh, uh, required uh, have a kind of a, not exactly a code of behavior, but think of the polygraph, that is, what questions are you asked there? the questions that are significant. There's a certain set of expectations, the do's and the don'ts. And uh, uh, the system can compare the material, the observations, the output uh, of any individual against these uh, do's and uh, don'ts. At this point, uh, we are very shy. At this point, we are just flagging what uh, my uh, friend whom I mentioned, whose name was uh, is Steve, uh, was afraid of that we will uh, delegate the executive power to this system. That is, uh, it will uh, uh, decide that the person is a traitor and execute uh, uh, that person. It seems a kind of contradiction because in the last example you mentioned that if he said, oh, good that I had my power supply, I could plug it in. But in the previous sentence, you didn't even mention maybe the guy who ran out of the battery, he didn't have his power supply with him. Well, it's two different examples. What no, I know, but in the previous example, you didn't mention that. Maybe he forgot his power supply. So even but, he did, what, but, sir, he didn't finish the presentation. Yeah, he didn't finish it, it because he yes. didn't have the power supply. Yes. You, you concluded that he... Therefore, he was in coaching, but he was not in business Yes, class. but you, you are implying that it's typical for him to forget his power supply or check that in. If it's typical for him to check that in, again, we will know that because we know he is more or less typical behavior, right? So we will know that what is happening. No, you are making a lot of presumption. Maybe he was in a hurry, he wouldn't have charged it. Then he would have told us that. Yeah, yeah, it, then it, he would have told us that. You realize that's why I just said what I said. We are only flagging. There are all kinds of extenuating circumstances. Yeah. But uh, if these circumstances are unusual in a casual conversation, people would uh, um, say that. Can you imagine what an idiot I have become? I checked in my power cord and I uh, couldn't uh, uh, finish the presentation because of, of, of that. We know nothing about the cabin class and the system realizes that. But also please uh, um, understand that we are only flagging that is maybe there is something here and there may be some unusual circumstances which completely exonerate uh, uh, the person. But we assume that if those are unusual, the person would blurt them out. To, to the point that you can ask the person, well, what happened to your power supply? Yeah. You know, you don't have some information that you expect, you can ask. Um, but again, we are assuming that anything out of the ordinary would be told. So if it's unusual for him to check it in and he did it, he would have told us. You realize that the only advantages of the system that we are uh, uh, selling you uh, are uh, 
it's free of error. It uh, it will do it uh, all the time. Well. Uh, in, it it will integrate two months later, six months uh, later. Is it smarter than a human being? No. We are trying to emulate the behavior of an incredibly smart team of investigators who are watching this person and uh, uh, discussing every uh, detail. And we're doing it much cheaply. Yeah, but basically, the way that you are speaking is as if is not flagging. You already know the person, everything about the person, and then you are analyzing what he said or he didn't say. It was not just flagging what he was doing. Because no, you know, no. By flagging, I mean that uh, when there is a reason to suspect that something is amiss, then we flag to the uh, human investigators that the situation should be explored uh, the, the more. You are explaining because you said the usual is this. That means you know the usual about the person. That means he's uh, already under investigation. That means he has already been he, he is already a person of interest, yeah. So we assume that there is access to the information in the table. But that's the second level. The first level, your usual, is the typical behavior of any human being in, in this situation. So you don't need to know necessarily anything about this particular person. You have some knowledge that's in your ontology about a, a, a typical behavior of a human. If that doesn't work, then you start looking at this particular individual and go for his typical behavior. So there are levels to that. Yeah, basically, because you are saying that he, he has been, or he or she has already been flagged, so this is in the continuing, uh, continuing investigation that you are looking at some other stuff. It, 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 it is possible. It is possible that this is a person of interest already, and then we are at a more advanced stage. In principle, like Julia just said, you can uh, activate the system for absolutely uh, anybody, and as you accumulate these unusual, strange, uh, unintended inferences, things that are given away, the defaults, that is, the expectations which are overwritten, then you can advance the investigation to uh, a different stage and get more information, uh, get into more databases, fill out the table like that. That table, you are absolutely right, uh, reflects an advanced stage already. And we are out of time. Any more questions? Yeah, sure. Uh, could you, could you uh, uh, up. talk up? There, there is a mic there, I think, because otherwise it will be lost for eternity. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's just an uh, offhand comment that uh, usually for, uh, for detecting events, like you're saying, unusual events, there is, uh, and especially just by using text stream of data, which is exactly what you have mm -hmm. from blogs and nothing more. There is a parallel research going on called topic detection and tracking, um, where you detect topics from a text stream and see, you track those events over time. Uh, have you ever thought about comparing? Yeah, that is done, as, if, if uh, I understand you correctly, it is done on the basis of keywords. Yes. Yeah, and that is so unreliable. Unreliable. What okay. we are offering you is a much better deal. But yes, it is possible to go back to the sentences that whatever the method, again, flagged, and reanalyze them and get that information the way that would be useful to us. You so understand yes, that the, the difference is uh, that ours is the system, unfortunately so far the only system, that understands text not just marks the occurrence of this or that significant uh, word. When you do uh, 